This lawsuit says Illinois State Police were negligent. It was their responsibility to make sure that the shooter, Gary Martin, did not have a gun. The employee who is now suing, his name is Timothy Williams. He is a father of four, and he was a union steward who was in the room that day when Gary Martin opened fire. Uh, Williams says he barely made it out of that room alive, managing to run away when the shooter stopped to reload his gun. He ran throughout the plant then, warning his other co-workers to get out. Williams was shot three times, one bullet ripped through his arm. Uh, he is still at home now recovering. He says he blames state police for not doing enough to make sure that shooter did not have a gun. He has filed a lawsuit against the state of Illinois now seeking $2 million. His lawyers say many of his injuries could be permanent. He still has two bullets where he was shot in his back. Um, they argue the state police has a duty to keep people safe and by not following the proper protocols in this case, Case, they negligently allowed Martin to have a gun. Martin was a felon who should not have had a FOID card. State police say they did not realize that until they ran his fingerprints for concealed carry. Federal databases also failed to show his felony conviction. Lawyers say there is no proof the Illinois State Police ever sent Martin a letter telling him his FOID card was revoked and they never followed up to take his guns. His lawyers say now state police dropped the ball. We bring this lawsuit seeking justice and more important, uh, seeking and hoping that uh, the Illinois State Police and other law enforcement will do a better job. In, in my opinion, if ISP had done their due diligence, no lives would have been lost. Illinois State Police tonight does not have any comment. They do not comment on pending litigation. Uh, they are seeking $2 million in this lawsuit because that is the most you can seek in a case like this against the state of Illinois. Live tonight outside the Thompson Center, Megan Dwyer, WGN News.